Hello everybody out there on the internet, this is your favorite network engineer, Andrew Salas from Everon IT. And looks like we're going to be kind of kicking off these installments of tutorials, articles, videos, or even just on-screen demos like we're going to do today. And uh, it's basically going to be a bunch of uh, information, just small tidbits of information here and there uh, that'll help you be more comfortable with your technology that you're using uh, in your small business and I'm pretty sure in your personal life and make you a little more comfortable uh, and make sure that we're using it just at its most efficient way possible and uh, looks like today's going to be our first installment. I hope everybody enjoys it. Knowing the equipment that you have and utilizing the technology to empower you to do the things that you want to do. Uh, so. Uh, today I'm gonna kinda go over tech tip with Microsoft Office and it's gonna be a way to access their whole uh, document store uh, that's, that's on there <coughs> to help you with your time and with your productivity so you don't have to go and create whole documents from scratch so the first thing we're gonna do is launch our Word application Normally, you would open up a Word document and just kind of, you know, start plugging away to get the results that you want. If you're, you know, going to insert tables, pictures, uh, formatting, all that di type of stuff, it takes time. And if you want to create documents from scratch, uh, that's completely fine. It just takes time to do that. So if you're on a deadline and you have to get something done right away, or if you just want to to start with something that physically uh, on the screen and just edit it, manipulate it to fit your needs. Uh, this is a good way to do it. You go ahead and hit your file button at the top or this ribbon thing and just hit new and it brings up your new document uh, you know, user interface here and it'll tell you what's on your computer right now kind of by default. Uh, just the documents that you've used in the past, created in the past, your history and stuff. But on the left-hand side where it says Microsoft Office Online, uh, it'll give you a whole bunch of categories of different types of documents that you could use. So if you wanted to create a timesheet uh, or uh, you know gift certificates, greeting cards, invoices, job descriptions, uh, you know, it's all at your fingertips right here. So... Uh, let's just say I wanted to create a budget. So uh, you just go into the, the budget section here, it accesses it, and gives you a whole bunch of types of budgets that you could that you could do. Uh, personal budget, you would just double click on it. It gives you description here, so you could kind of go through and <clears throat> know what you're getting into before you're opening up the documents. It gives you screenshots, but uh, after you're done and satisfied with it, which one, or you could even just open up a bunch of them just to see and manipulate them, see which one you wanted to get started. It's kind of no harm, no foul uh, when you get them up in here and you just start plugging away, and uh, you you could kind of get started that way. And just like Microsoft likes to do, uh, they did it with all their programs. So uh, you know, try to open up Excel here, and we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Uh, and with the cool thing about Excel is <coughs> it has a whole lot of the autocomplete features in there which it'll do the the totals and help you out so let's say we had to do the same thing <coughs> we have to create a budget and I don't want to create it from scratch write all the formulas out myself which uh, definitely recommend doing uh, at least once so you could know what that process is like and know how much time this it would actually be saving you so I'd go in here, uh, review review the the sections here, and I'm going to go into budgets, and it's going to launch what it has available on their Microsoft Online Store, as far as you know anything that has budget in the tag. So uh, uh, with Excel, you could see that it has a whole lot more whole lot more uh, budgets in there and it gets specific into like holiday budgets, lawn and garden budgets, six month budgets in duration, monthly budgets and stuff like that which it's pretty comprehensive and uh, it'll probably be that way in Excel with a whole of the, a lot of the other documents but let's say I was doing it for like a board or something like that to uh, illustrate the need for some money or il justify uh, kind of why we spent it. Uh, this one looks pretty good because it has some nice graphs and uh, things that are going to auto populate in there once I just start plugging in buttons. So it pops it up and you can kind of just click on the fields and personalize it. And if you're in need of it, chances are somebody else is in need of it and they've uh, 
put it up there too. And then w once you start getting more advanced, you can start contributing to those online document stores as well too. But now this document will be on your computer saved locally for you to access at any time. Uh, so as long as you have the internet, Microsoft Office, and a, you know a valid copy of Microsoft Office, you could use these basically save a whole lot of time, productivity, and uh, look very professional in the, while doing it. Uh, if you uh, have any questions or anything like that, you could definitely uh, shoot us an email. Uh, my email is andrewsalas at everonit.com, but that's probably going to do it for this little tutorial. Just little snippets of information that will probably help you through your daily life with computers and with technology. Have any suggestions about other technologies or things that you're running into with issues that you want us to touch base on, uh, yeah, definitely shoot us an email on over and uh, we could uh, get started on putting a tutorial together for you. I uh, hope have everybody enjoyed it and have a great day.